Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Faster Than Light. I would kind of like to try that again. So without further ado, one, two, three. Oh, you're kidding me, we're gonna die. Oh, we're gonna die. Oh, out of all the ships that I could have gotten, Crystal Vengeance is worthless. We don't have weapons if we run into an unmanned drone. An especially well-armed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members, and the rest of you can go free. Nope. You see, before this, just to reinforce it, I was like, I should look up some other, like, just some tips and stuff from people to see what they do. Against people, they have missiles too. To get through their normal runs. Because obviously my priorities were all kinds of screwed up. And they were like, well, your ship should have good enough starting weapons that you can just focus on defense until you get to the later sectors. And it's like, my ship doesn't have... Uh... Okay, they're angry. Wait! We have cloaking! I forgot this ship has cloaking! Ooh. Miss! Miss! Oh! Maybe we aren't dead yet. I forgot this starts with cloaking. We have a four room teleporter and cloaking. We have a way to deal with missiles! I need to upgrade our engines. So that that doesn't keep happening. It appears the slaves did not survive the fighting. You find their burnt bodies in the hold, but before you strip the ship, you hear faint noises in the walls. You break off a latch, and a slave falls out of a hidden compartment. Coughing. Once recomposed, the slave offers to join your crew. And they become the new pilot. So you're gonna leave there, and everybody else is just gonna live in here. And now our boarding is much more powerful. how to go about this. I mean, I guess it, on one hand, the Crystal Vengeance is worth like 40 scrap. The AI of a nearby small rebel scout immediately identifies you as a threat and engages. Okay, so I want you on engines. Whoever, whoever was on... Oh, I saved your... You get in here. I want more evasion. Our FTL isn't fast enough. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get hit by some missiles. See, I could teleport over there, but we might also die before I can get them back. At least it's just a Leto. We're only taking one damage. This is gonna hit. And it's gonna mess with our evasion. Cloaked! Eventually, one of those is going to hit us even when we cloak. But if nothing else, that stops them for five seconds. I almost want to upgrade this. Ten seconds of this would be amazing. But we have to we have to prioritize things. Oh god, let me get out. Oh god. Oh god. Yes! Okay, sorry, I'm getting loud. Even though it's late. You barely have time to register jump completion before your ship warns you of an incoming ship with weapons hot. We're totally getting over there. No, wait, we're gonna heal first. No, wait, we're gonna heal first. Let's not go over there and die. You ready to cloak? Dodge it. Okay, we at least stopped the beam from firing, which got that back perfect. We will jump into the only room that has enough space for everybody. Which gives us the full advantage. And we have the Crystal Lockdown, which I actually love. Mort! Mort, you're gonna die! These don't fire at the same time now, I love that! Give me fuel! Yeah, there are no more life signs. What a horrifying thing to be happy about. You guys are getting good. You did it, Notch. You didn't die. There is some small glimmer of hope that we don't implode. And it's probably because of four room border and this. I don't need hacking because of that, though hacking would still probably help. 
We've already got... What system are we going to get for the last one? Maybe we should just get drones so that we have another response to... Now, would that be a waste of power? I can cloak better. You stumble across a forward scout of the Rebel fleet. They're powering up their FTL. If they get away, they will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Actually, we should probably get mind control. Because I can already teleport over there. Using the crystal ability, I can lock down rooms just like we had hacking. And I can already use cloaking to dodge missiles. I'm going to send you guys over there and you're going to do something. No, they have a clone bay. No, they have a clone bay. But if I teleport them into here, do I want to send all three of them then? If I send all three of them, one person's going to get trapped and they might have to fight two people. I wish I knew how many people were on this ship. Let me see real quick. I should check. There's three people on that ship. We have the health advantage. They will be able to fix it through other stuff. So I think what we want to do to stop them is we're going to teleport into there. So I'm going to send you guys back up here. And we're going to teleport over there. And then they're going to prioritize this. We are in which they will die. I'm going to cloak just so that that doesn't shoot. No, the med bay. Oh, you got my oxygen too. They should die, and when they die, we run in here and try and break this. Great, break it. Smash it! You can do it, please! Sweet! Their ship goes silent, and you are relieved to know that you are still one step ahead of the fleet. Teleport back! Fix the med bay! We need that for things. Oh, that's right, you guys take less damage from suffocation. That's cool. I like that. Why don't you come fix this while they heal? That way, everybody's doing something productive. Are you ready? Perfect. Help him. Back to positions. I'm so glad. I'm so glad we got another person. If I could just get one more. One more person that's good at boarding. I realize we're not manning the stations, but it, it's just so much more powerful boarding when you get this. This many people going. A ship with consp conspicuous pirate markings is orbiting a nearby moon, broadcasting a simple message claiming to have equipment available for sale. Hmm. You know, I think I actually want to hail him, because we might end up fighting him anyway. But I can sell that crystal vengeance. The ship responds, yes, we have an extensive stock. Come aboard and see our wares. A human in an exquisite suit meets you on board. Welcome to my ship. We specialize in drones of all kinds. Can I interest you in any? I don't want drones, so he's probably going to attack us. Ah, I'm sorry to hear that. Pleasant journeys. Once back to the helm, a series of explosions rock your ship. The pirate ship has powered its weapons. You receive a message. You shouldn't waste people's time, Captain. Oh no, you broke my weapon. Wow, two, f two breaches and two fires? And you took out my teleporter. Wait, they have Zoltan shields. I can do absolutely nothing against Zoltan shields. We have no choice but to run away. Well, things escalated really quickly. Hmm. This actually turned out extremely poorly. I was thinking we were going to fight him regardless, but I wasn't counting on the Zoltan shields. And out of every spot on the ship, they both hit while we were cloaked, and they hit my cockpit. Sometimes. Everybody online was just like, no, you, you shouldn't have to restart your run in the beginning. If you lost, it's just because you're bad. And I'm like, come on, the RNG on that? You hit my cloaking. What am I supposed to do about that? We're sitting ducks. I can't even... I can't even. Our evasion's awful. Why did it have to be this ship? Granted, I don't know of any ship in particular that I could just pick and then be like, okay, we'll win for sure with this one. But all the same... Bites. Will you quit shooting, my medbay? We are getting out of here. 
I need a super shield bypass. You come across a pirate in hot pursuit of an unidentified ship. Mmm. Laser and beam. I think we could handle that. It's not like they have missiles. We'll come back here and fix this real quick first, though. You are coming over here. I see. Well, if that's how you really feel. Nope. These aren't going to line up anymore. And because I'm cloaked, you can't immediately teleport them away. Got him. Got him. I'm going to fix this first because I'm kind of scared. What you got over here? A mantis and a human. Okay. You guys heal up. Two on one will easily be able to beat the mantis. And we'll smash something else on their ship while we're over there too. Uh, let's go in here. Yes. So what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you come over here. But you're gonna lock down this room. The mantis is stuck. The mantis is stuck. Calculated. Such calculations. Who are you gonna fight now? Oh no, you wanna come in here and you wanna fight me? How about you come in there and fight, actually? If I keep running through here, they'll both hit you. They're gonna hit you. Yes! Three on one! I don't know what I'm doing right now. We won! The pirates! They're all dead! Leaving the ship dead in space. Thank you for the aid. I'm an arms dealer that usually only works with the rebels, but considering the circumstances, I'll sell you things. Thank you. Thank you. We have options. Okay. Do we want to mind control somebody on their ship and prevent our own people from getting mind controlled? This drone control actually has a defense drone. It actually comes with a defense drone. This is all of the, this is all of the choices. Hacking. I don't have weapons. But this could super compound with our no, no. I've got 3 of them. If I'm sending all 3 of them, I've got 3 lockdown abilities. I should be able to handle that. As much as it would be nice, I'm leaning between these two. And it comes with a free defense drone. Any other way to help stop the missiles? If they only have one missile weapon, I won't even need the cloak. But the mind control... I worry about the health that it gives them though, because if you fully upgrade it and you use it on somebody on their ship, they actually get more health out of that. It gives them like 130 max health. And that'll actually heal them if they were lower than that. Hmm. That would increase the likelihood that they kill one of their own, though. But if I get... Ooh, but if I get this, there's a chance that we might get... Like, we have no use for drone parts if I don't get this. Ah, oh, but we only have two drone parts. There's so much thought required in this. Uh... But, but the hull repair, defense drones and hull repair. Mind control won't work unless I'm on their ship either, since we don't have sensors upgraded. Which one of these is safer? You know what? We're sending three people over there. You know, we're just we're gonna take mind control. I'm gonna take mind control. I'm gonna take him back. Oh, wait, no, I actually need the power in there. I hope that this doesn't end too poorly. We should basically have a boarding party of four now, so we should be able to smash their smash their ships. If we teleport into their weapons room, even if they have a crew of three to match us, then we'll just mind control one. And if they try and run away, we can lock them in the room so that we can kill them in the weapons room and then break their weapons. I can cloak to get away from the missiles, and hopefully that'll be enough. I should repair. When we get enough scrap, we're going to get those double shields I was talking about. 
Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials. Sure. Ooh. All right, I have absolutely no use for drone parts. Well, at least we can sell them. An especially well-armed pirate ship approaches you. No. I'm gonna come over here and ruin your stuff. Mind control! Now you're gonna die super fast, and then you're gonna help me break your own weapons. Wow, it certainly is nice having a mantis on my side. Oh, by the way, you suck at fixing things. Oh, you want to fight me in this room with three crystal people? Okay. That goes, we got a human! It appears the slaves did not survive the fighting. You find their burnt bodies in the hold. Wow, why am I reading this like that? <laughs> okay, okay. You guys are coming back over here. We have someone on the engines now. Even more evasion. Double shields. Double shields. So now if we take this... Oh, Marcus, you're the one that's hurt. Marcus, get in there. I'm not losing you. Everybody's important. Cool. Now I only need one more power, so if we should need it, I can take one power out of the engines. And potentially be invulnerable to the enemy. You detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. You leave. Because you have no way of fighting them. I'm not going to lose my crew members by repeatedly breaking stuff over there. A mantis ship hails you through the storm. These are sacred Earth Tanakh hunt clan hunting grounds. You are prey. Shields up. Teleport. And mind control. I'm gonna see if I can choose. On this one? On this one. Yes! I don't know if that's how that works, but I'll take it. Mantis, you will help me. Kill the Engie. Kill your brother. And then you help me break this extra quick. And then all we have to do is kill the survivor. Which should be super easy. Mind control's working great with this. Three fuel. Heal up. I love, I love how close together these are. That's so nice. This is going better than the normal run. Or that easy run. Or was it actually? Now that I think about it, well, didn't we get super decked out that run? I don't even, I don't even remember. They're all kind of blurring together. I had too many of those other runs. You can't see anything through the gases around you. We should buy fuel probably. Mmm. Nothing to sell. Absolutely nothing to sell. This page doesn't even need to be here. I can't afford anything. Drone recovery arm would have been nice. These are all nice. These are all things that I can't have, though. I'm gonna take these. And I'm not gonna repair anymore. Because I need one more power to effectively have the shields. And I think I'm gonna try and get the 9 scrap to do that. Nah, I'm good. Thank you, though. Let's go to the nebulas. I'm gonna try and stick in here. Everybody online seemed to think that nebulas were a good idea, just because you get more jumps. And while I feel like I would just run out of fuel immediately by doing that, I'm inclined to try anything to see if we can actually get this down. So a pirate ship arrived shortly after you, judging from the fact that it's probably a smuggler and smuggling things, you boarded. I can't use mind control on slugs. This system's useless here. Hindsight 2020. I mean, they still can't run away, and we still have three crystal people. This ship was apparently carrying information about the surrounding beacons. You happily download their knowledge. And you heal yourself. Well, I see that we don't have to go to ion storms ever. 
So you guys heal up, and eventually we'll have some way of dealing with the Rebel Scouts, I hope. I'm going to go to these, and we're going to go around this store in hopes that we can actually get things here. No, I'm not gonna cloak and try and stay hidden. Let's get over there. We can wreck them. I think, maybe. You're gonna help me. This is probably all humans. Kill them, quick! Cloaking! 80% evasion! Mind control, it lasts long enough. It lasts long enough, we got them. And we're getting better at fighting. Oh, we're actually gonna kill them before that, uh... Well then. There are no more life signs on the ship. And we dodged the missile with only 20% evasion. Really though, I think this needs to be upgraded. It's scaring me. This is as good as that's gonna get. We'll see if we can at least pick up some more fuel here. No weapons or anything? Should we pick up more crew? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. I've already got that. We'll pick this up. I'm gonna put one point in here. I'm gonna take that point out of there. We're gonna put it back in here. We've got double shields. Now we're gonna work on engines. If we get our evasion higher, our evasion should explode. For reasons of the higher our evasion is, the faster they'll get their skill ups. So we'll get an extra 10% evasion. So I'm kind of betting on that compounding. We should probably get this up as high as we can. A black market weapon trader spins you tails and you attack him because tails enrage you. We're going to teleport into here because they'll recognize that as a threat. And now, if something were bad were to happen out here, I could just mind control them. So you guys are going to be fine over there, right? I should just have this person help. Yeah, you guys break that. Perfect. Now they're already working on breaking this, which means there's no way they'll become like they'll come back in time. Teleporting like they can't do damage to us. I mean, yeah, they could mess us up with the teleporting bomb, but oh, it's just an ion one. Never mind. Everything is fine. You guys come back and go in there. Dead. And you get in there, too. As long as we don't lose any crystal people, I think we could maybe be okay. 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 Let's see. I'm liking that this stabilizes things for us. It's essentially another crew member. Unless they're slugs. I don't have the power to use more engine stuff, so we're going to upgrade this one more time. So now we actually get the benefits for that thing that I paid for previously. This is good. Navigating the fog blind, you practically bump halls with a mantis, because there won't be a next time attack. I see. Well, if that's how you're going to do it, I'm just going to mind control you. And we're going to lock this down so that when you try and leave, even less gets accomplished. 85%. You've only got a 15% chance to hit. I like those odds. Now we will quickly break your weapons. Sweet, we got it all the way. And we'll just lock this down again so you don't bother trying to do anything stupid like running away. And we get another 28 scrap. This is going better than the last run. We're not in the red yet. Or was I in the red by the end of the first episode? I have no idea. I'm probably jinxing it. We're probably all gonna die already. 30, and then 25. I'm gonna wait on the 5. Should also probably upgrade our doors. I want more evasion, though. It appears that an automated rebel scout was positioned within a nebula to warn of your passing. Basically what I'm thinking... Oh god, don't hit anything. Not my engines. Oh. 
That sucks. No reason to be on the shields. We can't man the engines now. It's unmanned, so there's no reason to be on that. We don't have weapons. Okay, there's no particular place that anybody needs to be standing. Well, I mean, you guys have something to do now. I want to get to the point where we have 100% evasion, so that if I cloak, it means we're safe. Enemy FTL is charging. I wonder if it's charging faster than ours, because our goal is to just get out of here. All oh, right, they have that, so they'll definitely... Yeah, okay. Cloaked! No, oh, the rebel fleet, it's coming at you twice as fast. You say these things to me like they matter. Okay, maybe they matter, but still. Intruders on board! The door system's right there, get in there. Where you at? They're right here, I'm opening this one, that's perfect! They're all the way over there. Thank you, door system, for being so convenient. They're totally gonna suffocate, even though they can get through these doors super easily. What just happened? How did they break that so fast? Are there ten of them in there? Before the oxygen vented out, they actually what? What even is this? You're gonna break my weapons? Seriously? We're taking damage? What is this even? I know it's just a single powered. They have to be Mantis. They have to be, like, Gold Mantis. We're gonna- we're just gonna go in here and fight him then. Fine. How did he- how? Two people! Two people broke all of this. I- I don't even- they're wizards. They're all wizards. Well... I'm gonna fix this before everything goes super terribly bad. And we'll pick it up next time. I should probably put oxygen on the ship. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.